everybody, it's Collision, you. coming back with another Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gameplay. Today we are playing on the map, oh god, what is this, Drone, with uh, Fetch Dog, and today we've got something totally new. Um, I am going to do a dual commentary with Fetch Dog, because he and I both did pretty darn well this game. We've taken the lead. Um, so what we've got going right now is I'll be switching in and out between uh, his view and my view. Right now, you are looking at my view um, in the main screen, and Fetch is going to be up in the top left. I'll let you know when we switch to Fetch's view. Um, yeah, I, st I still don't know how you survived that. Yeah, I don't know either, um, but I did some cool stuff. UAV on yeah, standby. Yeah, so I am running the MSMC. Uh, I've got the suppressor on it. Um, I'm UAV running with inbound. lightweight, hardline, um, toughness. Dexterity and Extreme Conditioning, my normal run and gun class. My, uh, as you can see, right now I'm running the UAV. I've got the uh, Sentry Gun, which, as I said in my last video, I've been using a whole bunch. Um, and also the Stealth Chopper. Um, yeah, so we're playing a little drone on Team Deathmatch. And I'll let Fetch tell you what he's using. I am using the QBB with um, SMJ and target finder attachments, and my sports groups are UAV, care package, and sentry gun, and I'm running the lightweight perk, uh, scavenger, I believe, and uh, combination between tactical mask and uh, engineer for this pesky little bouncing All right, so yeah, basically, um, We've been reading a couple articles on IGN. Friendly UAV inbound. And they, one of IGN's reporters, actually got a hold of Bungie co-founder Jason Jones. And what's big about this is that he freaking didn't even have, didn't do any interviews for about 11 years. So this was big that they actually got him to talk. Um, if I mean, could you blame him? Yeah, no, it wasn't that he was just being recluse, it's just, A, he didn't have time, and B, you don't have to talk to the media. I well, mean, well, I mean, I mean, and, and I'm thinking about his point of view, if you really enjoy doing something, I mean, you want to continue to do it, and as, as much time as you have, so having interviews, I can understand, and then understand him not doing that. Alright, well, yeah, so he's talking about, in part one, we're going to go over part one of this three-part uh, video. Uh, not video, article that uh, I can record Ryan McCaffrey wrote. He uh, was talking in this uh, article about a Halo 1 pistol, the infamous Halo 1 pistol. Basically, this pistol, if you haven't played Halo, you could two or three shots snipe somebody from across the map with this. So it was incredibly OP. Well, I mean, you have to get headshots with it, too, I think. Yeah, you really did. Um, but, I mean, this, the pistol itself is just crazy. Like, it's crazy. Sentry gun ready there to was deploy. The, the urban rumor, urban legend about it was that he, or Jason Jones, actually went in and a few hours before they released, and by the way, we're switching to Fetch Dog's view here, so, uh, make sure, yeah, make sure. the gun did just change and he's throwing up a sentry. Um, but yeah, the urban legend is that he, Jason actually went into the code, um, the Halo 1 code, hours before the game launched and changed the, uh, UAV pistol. awaiting orders. Um, UAV inbound. The code for the pistol, so that he could play the game better. Um, which is your UAV. interesting theory, but he actually debunks that. Um, let me pull it up here. Yeah, to be able to like change change the game's code just so you could benefit yourself. I'm sorry, but that that that's just a bad thing for me. Yeah, he uh his response to that uh thing is, um, see that's Sentry almost gun, mythology. Ready for now. Um, you can't set mythology straight. So basically, he didn't say yes, he didn't say no, but what he did say that it was too late in the uh, process um to change the code. Um, for the actual game, um, that deep, but he was able to adjust it a little bit. So yes, he did say he did adjust it, 
but not for the same reason that everybody else, you know, that they saw the fifth went, that they that he changed it so he himself could be better. Um, yeah, but yes, uh, because he, like, sorry to interrupt, but like he said in the article, it, if you would change something like that, you'd have to like, reprocess the whole game itself. Yeah, and ba and back then, I mean, compared to like the games we have today, it's it's still a decent it's a chunk process. of data. It's yeah. a lengthy process. Even yeah, with, it is. Even with the most powerful computer. Like, it's not something that you just do right off, the, like, just able to do at any time. Like, you can't do that. It just doesn't work. There's too much code to, to render and too much data to process to be able to do that efficiently. Um, so he changed it um, from the top level, but he did not change it from... Uh, Objective almost complete. In the same way Don't that quit does. Yeah, he he didn't actually change the mechanics. He changed like data right. that's pointing to the, the mechanics. So yeah, this game is starting from the close. As you can tell, we are just completely annihilating this the enemy team. Um, I think we, yeah, I think we I got into a game by. with like a bunch of guests or something, but these guys really sucked. Be advice. Uh, yeah, UAV I, I, it's been a while since I've watched video about this, but I was using the freaking reflex site, not the target <laughs> finder. Do you normally use the target finder? Y yeah, I do. I mean, people complain that I use it, Friendly but you know what? Inbound. It's in the game. It's there. Fair so, enough. No matter. All yeah. enemies have failed. Um, we won 75-35. Um, I myself went 28 and 7. Fetch went 20 and 2. 20 and 2. Yep. And hey, that that's a victory for me. Yep. And we will catch you guys later.